Hello everyone, I'm back with another pin video. Um, as promised, I have the uh, the two Conklins. Um, the first is the Mark Twain, Mark Twain Crescent Pillar. And this is the Conklin All-American. Um, Conklin is a, a new company to me. I've never owned a Conklin. Uh, they were established in 1898. And this Crescent Filling system here is um, their claim to fame. Uh, they introduced this in 1901. Unfortunately, the company did hit on some hard times in uh, 1948, and they ceased production. Um, they were revived by um, Yaffa Brands, Y-A-F-A, -A, in um, 2000. And Yaffa has pretty much stayed true to the Conklin heritage. All the pins still say Conklin. Um, the All-American uh, has engraved there. Um it. Trademark Conklin, Toledo, Ohio, USA, All-American. So that's nice um, that they were able to come back under a different uh, brand, but nevertheless, they were back. So um, this crescent filling system uh, is pretty unique, uh, new to me anyway. So you, so in the stop position, you can't can't press on this so this is stopped but when you roll this around you see those notches so those notches set underneath here so it, to fill it you just of course you unscrew it you line up the notches and you dip it and you just depress this and it goes down and it comes back up once it's filled unfortunately you can't see how much um, ink is in here there's no unscrewing or anything. So you just take for granted that uh, yeah, it's filled. But uh, this is a, a medium nib. Kind of a rustic look to the, to the nib. Uh, this is five. And the material is a hard resin. Uh, it's described as uh, black chased, like I chased a rabbit or I chased something. Um, and rose gold. Of course, you know, I love the, the rose gold, as you can see from my other videos. And so this says um, Crescent Filler Trademark and Conklin. Um, the, the material is it's not smooth at, at all. You can see these divots. And you can actually feel that um, in your hand. It's not uncomfortable, but I would say it's not the most comfortable um, filling pen. Um, I really like the rubbery filling pen, so this texture. Uh, it's not bad, but uh, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but the pen itself uh, is beautiful and it writes very nicely. And that has the Conklin, um, uh, what is this called? Rocker, rocker tip, rocker clip, the rocker clip, and instead of patented clip, this probably is my my favorite clip of um, of all my pens. You know, there's nothing there, but this is just nice. It's stiff, but it's just nice to be able to lift it up like that. So. And that's a Conklin Mark Twain. I think Mark Twain um, established a relationship with um, Conklin in the early 1900s. Um, so there's that, hist that bit of history. And so the All-American is, uh, as you can see, it's a demonstrator. Um, oh, I didn't know it was a limited edition. Uh, number 832 out of of how much? So 1898, when they were established. And again, we have rose gold appointments. And this uses, um, again, it has the rocker clip. And this has a Joywell Omniflex nib. 
very nice nude. So it's not really, you know, not, not much to this. Um, it is a little girthier than pens that I would normally like. Um, it was really hard to see how um, thick it was uh, when I bought it because the pen was on a light background. So it looked thinner in the, in the pictures, but uh, I mean, it feels okay in the hand. So um, I'll start off with the the Crescent Filler here and do a little demo of the writing. So it's a, as you can see, it's a, it's a screw. And if you want to screw it back on, you got to kind of get it right in order to, to get it to line up. But I like it to, I like this to line up with the but I haven't quite figured out the right point yet. But um, posts very nicely. There's no, no give. Um, you see the crescent uh, for the breather hole there. So I see. So the pen is. Mark Twain Crescent Filler. Nib. It's medium. The ink that I'm using is Monte Verde. Gem Series. It's Fire Opal is the name of the color. So I'll do this again with my left hand. And this nib is a stainless steel. So again. And it's a very smooth writing pen. I spell crescent. Crescent with a C. Nib. Medium. Stainless steel. I can't stress how smooth this writes. Steel. And ink. Fire Opal, it's all one word. Nice color, kind of a reddish brown. And um, just some random marks. Reverse, writes very nicely in reverse. You see, it doesn't skip or anything. Very nice pen. Right hand, a little skipping. Let me see. I think the pen gets confused when I switch hands. But, um, or my, my grip changes, position of the nib changes. But yeah, um, so the highlights of this pen is the, the rocker clip. But the things that I love, the rocker clip. The smoothness. I mean, it's just silky smooth. Um, the things I don't like so much are the, it's the texture. The texture, when I say texture, it's the texture here. Um, but it's a, it's a beautiful pen. I bought this um, on eBay from Spearbob. 
and it was $112.50. But yeah, I mean, I couldn't recommend this pen highly enough. It's a unique. Um, they do have different colors. Um, as, uh, that reminds me, I opened the box for you. So this is the box. It has um, all the diagrams, the historical diagrams. Which is, it's a really neat box. Conklin probably has some of the, the best boxes that I've seen. So and then they have all the the engineering diagrams right here really neat if you really want to you know go deep and learn about the the design of the crescent filler so you can see there there's um, the different colors I'm sure they probably have more than that by now um, but that's the the black chase black chase and just instructions of course, it doesn't come with any ink cartridges or, or anything because it doesn't use, it only uses the um, the crescent filling system. Very unique pen. Um, next is the All-American box. Go ahead and show that before I get into the pen. And it has instructions. It came with two ink cartridges, one of which is in the pen. And you can use it as a... Um, eyedropper and it also came with a beautiful rose gold accented um, converter and there you see all american demo limited edition um, that was new to me i didn't even notice that it was a, a limited edition so let's get into the pen again I'll let you see this up close and this, like I said, um, it's inked up with the cartridge. It doesn't, unfortunately, that I was writing with it a little earlier, and it doesn't write as smooth as the crescent filler. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's the cartridges. I think I should just start filling uh, using the converters, because that would be more of a level playing field, I think, if I'm going to talk about two pins in the video and kind of compare them, although, although I'm not really doing a comparison, but it'd be more fair if they were all kind of inked up in the, kind of in the same way, although the Crescent Fuller is its own thing. But um, there it is, nothing much to it. Very clean style. So um, this is the OmniFlex nib again. See, it says OmniFlex. There's the feed. Unfortunately, I haven't really mastered the line weight. Um, all of my line weights really look the same. So this may um, skip a little bit, but I don't think it's the pen. I think it's the cartridge. Conklin All-American. It's a demo, limited edition. The nib. See, it's just not. It doesn't want to, but this nib feels smooth. So I really don't think it's, you know, the nib. I think it's just the ink. It's a Jowo. Omniflex. And included cartridge. So again with the left. Seems to write a little bit smoother, the left. Nib. Jolo Omniflex. Ink. 
cartridge. Yeah, it did, did a lot better with the left hand. So, and I'm gonna try to vary my, yeah, it doesn't, I don't know. Brace really well in reverse. Little skip, you see it wants to skip on my right hand. But I, like I said, I really don't think it's the pen. I just think it's, um, you know, varying grips. Maybe it doesn't like, and um, maybe it doesn't like the cartridge. So what I'll do is when I revisit my Monte Verde, and I think they kind of have the same issue. Maybe they prefer cartridges. I'll um, give this one another chance. Um, so uh, highlights, highlights for this one. Um, flex nib, although I really don't see, I can't really see the difference in the line weights the way I'm pressing. I think I, maybe I just need to, to vary my um, my technique with the flex nib. And again, it's smooth, although it's skipping, it is smooth and it feels good in the hand. Um, cons, I don't know. I don't, I won't even say that the fact that I, I think it's a little big for me, but it um, looks like it's leaking a little bit. If you can see that, that may be a con. Uh -huh. It's leaking a little bit, but um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any negatives to say about this one. Um, it's just simple. A kind of a no-nonsense demonstrator pen. Um, this was bought on uh, TruFi, and I paid a hundred dollars for this one. But now it's uh, it's on sale. I saw today for eighty dollars. Um, that may be a con. The fact that I paid a hundred dollars for this, um, I don't know. Limited edition, but they have a lot of limited edition, so that's not really anything um, special. Yeah, yeah I, I would say maybe it's a little pricey. Um, for a leaky pen, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't regret my purchase at all for for any of these. These are these were good finds, I think. Um, good pens to to learn to learn the history of fountain pens, to learn the history of Conklin, and uh, just to appreciate. Um, so those are the Conklins. I think that's all. Pretty much all I had to say about uh, the Conklins. Um, I have a lot of new pins coming in, so um, I'm excited to share um, a couple of them, a couple of them with you in particular. So, um, hopefully, those videos will be coming soon. But um, thank everyone, thanks again for watching. Um, if you have anything that you um, think that will improve my videos, pre please don't hesitate to um, put that in the description. Anything in particular you want to see. Um, Put that in the description as well but um until next time thanks so much for watching and i hope this was helpful i never want this to be like just a uh let me show off my pins uh, i hope it's educational um, just i just want to share my my love of pins um the biggest pinky but again thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time